players, I assume, during the course of your duties all week. Your impressions thus far? You know, Marina's tough. She was uh, she's here a few years ago and, uh, before the knee injury and looked really good when they got the injury. But uh, she's, uh, she's come back and she's hitting the big ball. She's playing more aggressive than she was uh, a couple of years ago. And I think uh, she's going to look big time on the upside right now. Two slugging out at Arvidsson. The Devs a standout here at the University of Memphis. We'll say just a little while back. A few years ago, 83 through 87. <laughs> That's not that long ago. <laughs> Still relative. Exactly. Big four. Out of, you know, I've, I've spent more of my life here than I than I have back home in, uh, in Australia. So this is kind of home in a sense. It's Australia's still home home, but... February, and then tomorrow will be the men's final. It must have been a tremendous feather in your cap to get that 500 designation from the ATP World Tour four years. She is Sophia's put a few more balls through the middle, not giving you the angle. And so she has Marina's come in, she's got to do a little bit more. that hail from the United States being the champions. losing her serve, and Arakovich looking really strong out of the gates, but maturity, an experience seeming to pay off for Arvidsson right now. person was unsighted. They couldn't see it. Because indicated of her it. Because of her body language. Yeah, indicated that it was good, but I believe you're right. It must have been blocked. And you can see missing by a fair margin. And the line judge should have just said Rakovic is redeemed and set point saved. Still another hangs to the balance. Challenging it. I think Arvidsson trying to keep the pressure on her younger opponent. She's let her off the hook now. Ah. And the charity is returned. How can we challenge the call? On the left service line, the ball is called fault. Neither women, neither of the women can stand prosperity right now. They're both in a very generous oh, mood, and that was a really bad call there. Ooh. She's done well to put herself in a position to win it. 
There she does, because... Harvest not messing around. It's okay. And the quick hold of love for one off. Heck of a backhand up the line. That's been her bread and butter. But she loved it. Saw the little fist flinch. Just keeping the ball nice and safe, middle of the court, waiting for the opportunity, unleashing the backhand. Set. Not a lot of experience on this stage. But she does what she has to do in this fifth game. Although Arvidsson wants to see the challenge. We'll wait for a moment just to see. If it does stand, I think it's going to be good. No, 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 no. It's long on the sideline, but way long. I need to go back and Kovic tried to sneak off the court quickly. Everton said, hold on a second. You don't get credit for that. tonight continues to do so. point. That's the problem. Look at another tentative. In 2010, serving for the championship. again, Sophia Arvidsson in straight sets, champion of the Memphis International with a 6-3, 6-4 win and she will delight in the applause knowing full well career number, career title number two is hers
Well, I wasn't so confident that she could come out and serve that way looking at the previous game that she played, but wow, did she end this match with some class, and there's the V for victory, or fight on USC, or I don't know, second time I've won this title. I'm not quite sure which one it is. Call for world peace. Whatever it is, <laughs> it is. Come on up and accept your award for being the champion of this year's tournament. Fourth career final, a 2-2 two and two record, both titles coming on this very court, six years apart. Sophia, a great week of tennis, and every morning when I came in here, there was your car right at the front row right there, and uh, I think you've uh, had a great week of tennis and really like this place called Memphis. What do you think? Yeah, I think I'm going to buy a house here. I just love to play here. <laughs> Your favorite stop, most career wins ever, is in Memphis. What is it about it that you, you love so much? I think it's the fans. I mean, you're great to supporting me all the time. And um, at the tournament also, they take so good care of me. And I just feel good when I'm here, and that's why I play good. Great. We're glad to have you here. We also have a wonderful timepiece from Mendicow Jewelers. So as a champion this year, we also have a new watch for you as the champion of our event, the 2012 Memphis International. Ladies and gentlemen, Sophia Arvidsson. Well, this will help Sophia Arvidsson's ranking. I just want to thank you all guys for coming out to support today. Um, it was great to play final. Congratulations, Marina. You're a great player and a good friend of mine. So I'm sure we're going to play many times. Um, I want to thank my box over there. I think that's why I play so good. I have five good-looking guys in the box there, so <laughs> that's not so hard to play. And um, uh, I want to thank the tournament organizers. You do a great event. And um, um, I also would like to thank my hitting partner. He had to leave yesterday because um, his godson um, accidentally passed away uh, yesterday, actually. So I would like to dedicate this to him. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce our 2012 Memphis International Champion, Sophia Arvidsson. Ella will elevate her ranking from 72 in the world. She'll look towards the premier events in Indian Wells in the desert of California and then on South Beach. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got the